Hi guys, welcome back. Did you ever ask yourself why cats have different eye colors? Well, Birmans are famous for their blue eyes, but they're not the only one. Also, Turkish Angora has them, Himalayan has them, Ragdoll has them. Sometimes happened that the same cat has each color of eye different. Well, stay with me and I will tell you why. Baby kittens are born with their eyes blue. Later, in six or seven weeks time, they slowly start developing their own color. Now, let's take a look at the anatomy of a cat's eye. Iris is the part that it's colored and it contains the cells called melanocytes. Now, these cells, when the age is right, starts producing melanin. Melanin is a brown pigment, we also have it in hair and skin, but they also give an eyes a color. So more melanin it is produced, the darker eyes will be at the cat. Besides of melanin production, blue eyes with the grown cat is also a consequence of a certain gene called KIT. K -I -T. Now, you've probably seen cats having two different colors of eye. One is usually green and another one is brown. Well, it is something we call heterochromia. It is all consequences of a different melanin production. Now, the eye which has more melanin production is usually brown and the one with less is usually green. Some say that blue eyes are deaf. Well, theory about this was already made by Charles Darwin, so quite a long time ago. Now, we said that the eyes are all about melanocytes. Now, those melanocyte cells are also connected with inner, inner ear functioning, which means that a white blue eye cat don't have enough of melanocytes, also that may affect or their inner ear. So, it is possible that they will lose their hearing before, let's say, a cat who doesn't have this problem. Now, I will tell you Ori. She had blue eyes just like the rest of the Birmans and she lost her hearing at the age of 17, while Nika and Nea were 16 and a half and they were still hearing properly. Now, if you take a look at the cat's eyes, you can see that their pupils are shaped vertically. Sometimes, or to some people, that might seem a bit strange. But let's take a look why is that so. Now, the volume of the light that comes to the eye actually determines how we get the image to the brain. Now, if outside is very low light, so let's say in the dark, the pupils expand. So more light come into the eye and the vision will be better. When there is light outside, let's say during the day, the pupils narrow, so the eye don't get overstimulated and get damaged. It is functioning the same with people as the cat. The only difference is the cat's vision is much more precise. We can divide animals in two groups. There are the one who are hunters and they are the one who are being hunted. Now, some animals like sheep or deers have horizontally shaped pupils. This way they give them better panoramic view. So when they have to run, they can also better see the grounds and their obstacles. And they can see their predators a lot faster. Now, very fascinating, it's also that when the, when the sunlight is coming from above, it has the minimum impact to their eyes. So, when they have to run, they see the ground a lot better. Now, with cats there is a different story. Just like some other predators, like snakes or crocodiles, their pupils are shaped vertically. This way they have the advantage so they can estimate where is the prey and they can focus on them. But this is not true for all the animals. For example, lions, they have circled eye pupils just like human. Let's talk now about losing the eyesight, with cats, of course. Now, I had this experience with Nea. If you take a look at this photo, you can see three cats on it. Two of them have two eyes glowing, or both eyes glowing, and one cat, just one eye is glowing. Now, that is Nea, and the other eye was damaged. But when I took a look at her, that looked to me like the eye would be empty. So, let's see what happened. 
If we again take a look at the anatomy of a cat's eye, you can see here a lens. Now this lens is connected with something called suspensory ligaments and if it happens that ligaments are torn, I don't know exactly why or how that happened with her, the lens is then separated from the eye and of course the cat didn't see. Now the vet said that surgery would be pointless because she was living indoors, she knew her territory, so even if we would take the surgery, because she felt no pain, it would be absolutely no difference at all for her. While human have two eyelids, cat have the additional one. Actually, many animals have it. Did you know that? I had no ideas. But the thing is, when they blink, this third eyelid actually cleans all the unwanted dust or any other dirt that's been happening on their eyes. Well, it's very fascinating. We use the broom, they use their third eyelid. Also, well, if your cat is healthy, you won't see this third eyelid very often, unless your cat is very relaxed and she's purring next to you, or if you just wake her up from her sleep. On the other hand, if you start seeing it too often, then perhaps pay an attention. If your cat is also living outside, then she might got herself into a fight and her eye was damaged. But in this case, usually just one eyelid will appear. If it appears on both eyes, that this might be a sign of internal parasite. Either way, I suggest you make an appointment with your vet. Thank you for watching us. That's all for today. We'll be back soon with more topics from a cat world. Bye bye.